who it is. UFC lightweight champion of the world, local boy, Benson Henderson. Cool. Good to have you here, man. Thank you very much for having me, man. I appreciate it. Decatur High School. What do, what do you remember about being out here? Do you, I mean, does it all, I know you live in Arizona now and you train out there, but you come back, your mom still lives here. Yeah. Do you go back and visit the old school, the old stomping grounds? What's it like coming back? Uh, every once in a while, my, my mom still lives in the same house I grew up in. Um, so I, when I stay home, I, that's where I would stay at. Uh, go visit the old high school, check out the, the wrestling team. My, my uh, old high school wrestling coach, Mike Bressler, he's still down there coaching the football team also now. Um, I never made up to Seattle all that much when I lived out here. Seattle's always kind of scary to me. Still kind of scary to me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Living in Tacoma? Yeah, well, yeah. The more, more, more the traffic, the one-way the one streets and stuff. I'm oh, like, okay. oh. This makes me nervous driving around. And your mom still has a store out here. What's the name of the store? Yep. Peter's Grocery, uh, right down the street from Tacoma Mall, 38th Street and M Street. Peter's Grocery, 38th. Yeah, check it go. out. Check it out. Check it out. Now, uh, what's what's it been like? I mean, when you found out, all right, not only are you headlining the card, you're headlining it at home yeah. at Key Arena. Yeah. It used to be the Seattle Center Coliseum, but I mean, it, was that overwhelming? Is it is it give you more nerves, or how do you respond to that compared to other cards? Uh, I was pretty excited when I first heard. I, I heard that it was a chance between Seattle or Southern California, and now, so I was leaning, hoping for Seattle, obviously. Uh, I knew I was going to be main eventing, I knew it was going to be the, the headline, um, but then I found out it was going to be Fox as well, so Fox is a big deal, you know, um, main event, big deal, in Seattle, hometown, when I found out they decided for sure it was going to be Seattle, I was, I was pretty ecstatic. I'm yeah, but by, by the way, that's UFC on Fox 5, December 8th, Key Arena, and as of this taping, say, tickets been on sale roughly four hours. Almost sold out. Yeah. So go to Ticketmaster.com and do yourself a favor. Now, is it what, what kind of pressure goes? I, I hear different fighters talking about fighting in their hometowns, and they get distracted with requests. They get yeah. distracted with all your cousins and friends that yeah. you never knew you had. Yeah. And you, I think you fought in Arizona before. Maybe there's a different level of distraction yeah. there. But are you are you sent? I know it's still a little while before the fight, but are you getting a sense of all right? This is going to be different. And I'm going to have to manage all the outside stuff. Uh, well, well think I live I lived in uh, Phoenix, Arizona now for five years, six years. Uh, I fought down there once, my, my adopted hometown of Gundale, Arizona, and I fought there, and I had a lot of distractions, a lot of headaches, a lot of dealing with this, dealing with that, um, flying my family members in and, and that all that sort of stuff, so you, know, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, I learned from that. I, I lost that fight, so I, I learned from that. And so for this fight, I'm just not going to allow any of that stuff to, to distract me. I, my goal, I have a, a purpose. I know what that is. Uh, all everything else can you know go by the wayside and hopefully all the new friends and cousins will understand that now. hopefully I, I i hope so guys forgive me i'm sorry <laughs> i hope not to offend any family yeah. members you didn't know you had uh you you've talked about wanting to break anderson silva's record yep. as far as title defenses that's it's pretty lengthy i mean he's yeah. now 37 years old this guy hasn't lost in forever is that yeah. is that something you you really is truly important to you i mean i know you love the belt you love being the champ yeah. is that is it the goal ultimately, or is it the goal to be just the most thought of as one of the most dominant champs? What's the ultimate goal? No, I think the ultimate goal, I think goals in, in general, you, you have to have in life. They, they're what drive you, they're what push you. you. I think it's good to have goals, long-term goals, as, as well as immediate goals, short-term goals. Uh, goal is absolutely to be the best fighter on the planet. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I want to have the the most title defenses in the UFC. I want to have the most wins in a row in the UFC. It's a it's a lofty goal. It's out mm -hmm. there. I, I know it is. I know it's it's shooting for the stars, uh, and I know that. But you know, I think it's good to have those sort of goals. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely want to beat Anderson by by one. I want him to be second in all the record books and me be right above him. Hopefully, I can get it done. We'll see. I got a long ways to go from there. A lot of hard work to do before I get there, but. You know, I'm 28, got a, lot, got a lot of time left, and I'm not scared of hard work, so it's cool. Now, if you could pick one fighter from any weight division, for one night you could be in that weight division. You could be a heavyweight, you could be a middleweight. Who would you want to fight? Who would you want to just kind of test your uh, skill against? Would it be a John Jones? Would it be Anderson? No, I, I guess there's, there's no real fighter I'd want to fight. I, I fight whoever. I'm not really like a tough guy or whatever, Billy Badass. Uh, type, I beg to differ. You know. <laughs> but uh, I, I would want to be a heavyweight just because the heavyweights get all the love. Ever since freaking wrestling in high school, heavyweights eating a subway on the bus to the, to the wrestling <laughs> venue and us smaller guys are cutting weight and we're all sad and tired and dehydrated and I want to be a heavyweight just don't have to cut weight and see what that feels like. How tough is it for you to cut weight? I mean, how, how far off your fighting weight are you when you're just walking around? Uh, just walking around. Maybe 20, 25 or so above uh, the 155, what I, what I you know have to weigh in at. Um, but you know, 
I've been doing it a long time, been cutting weight, making weight for a long time. Sadly, I'm, I'm very used to it and I have it down to a science. I know exactly what I need to do. It's uh, zero fun getting down the weight, but I've done it plenty of times. So. Would you ever consider the move up to welterweight? Uh, probably not. I, I want to I wanna, I wanna solidify 55. I want to I wanna dominate the 55 pound division and you know that's my division and make a stake, a, a claim to it and own that division so to speak. Well you, you get your shot December 8th and before we let you go I gotta ask you about that fight with Nate Diaz. He's a guy that's very polarizing. Yes. There are people that love the Diaz brothers, there's people that hate the Diaz yeah. brothers. There will be people that will become Benson Henderson fans because you beat the daylights out of Nate Diaz. Yeah. How do you beat them? How do you, without divulging a game plan, they, they've got a very awkward style. They, they both throw a lot of punches, but they're, they're, they're kind of pity pat punches. Yeah. Sneak in a hard one every once in a while. Yeah. They've got great jujitsu. Yeah. Where, where do you think your advantage is with it? Well, we haven't yet broken down the film. Like, uh, I haven't yet watched the film. I've watched all their fights as a fan of MMA, first and foremost. I love watching MMA. I'm a fan of both the Diaz brothers, their styles. They walk forward. That's their style, is to go forward. Uh, I love that. They're, they're fighters, fighters. Um, that being said, we don't have them really br broken down and have a game plan on how to beat them yet. But I do know there are game plans how to beat them out there. Mm -hmm. If you want to beat Nate Diaz, we know you can do A, B, and C. Look at the Clay Guida fight. Look at the um, his Roy McDonald fight, the Dong Hyung Kim fight. Uh, Nick Diaz, there's, there's some um, game plan on how to beat Nick Diaz also. Uh, his style is obviously very similar to his brothers or his brothers is similar to his. So there's game plans. There are blueprints out there for how to beat those guys. It's just kind of you can pick and choose which blueprint works best for you, which blueprint works best for me, what fits my style the most, uh, and then you know try and stick that game plan to so get that blueprint. December 8th, Key Arena, UFC on Fox 5. The headliner, UFC lightweight champion, local hero, Benson Henderson.